the cheeses are reinserted into the hoops and returned to the press where they will remain for approximately 18 to 20 hours. This whole process, which began at 4 a.m. and has so far taken 11 hours, has produced 24 wheels of cheese. It is interesting to note that the noise level in a working cheese factory can be very high, so protective ear devices are sometimes worn. The next morning, the cheeses are removed from the press. The bandages are partially removed and the cheeses are put on racks to dry. The racks are moved to the curing room. Here, the cheeses will be turned daily for seven days so that they will retain their cylindrical shape while drying and also to enable the acid to disperse evenly for proper curing. The temperature in the curing room is kept at 58 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. The cheeses are coated with a layer of wax to preserve freshness and prevent molding. They are held in the vat of wax for six seconds. The temperature of the liquid wax is 210 degrees Fahrenheit or 99 degrees Celsius. After dipping, the wheels are allowed to cool for several seconds before handling, allowing the wax to become firm. Each waxed cheese is weighed individually before being packaged in cardboard cartons. The weight is stamped on the outside of the carton. Ms. Chivers, the cheese maker, is going to explain testing. When grating cheese, first thing a grater does is push in the driver, and you can tell by the way it goes in whether it's going to be grated cheese or not. He then gives the dryer a twist and pulls out what's known as a plug, and the first thing he does is smell it. He can detect from that whether there's going to be any off flavors on the cheese, uh, such as fruitiness or an unclean flavor, uh, which could have been because of cultures that did not work properly, uh, equipment that was not cleaned properly, or perhaps it was something in the original milk supply itself, such as uh, silage or uh, ketosis, which is uh, a flavor that can get onto milk uh, if uh, the air around the cows in the barn is not kept fresh. The next thing that uh, the grader looks for is whether there's uh, openness in the cheese or whether it's a nice closed texture. This happens to be a very nice closed texture. Uh, there is uh, one little crack here that is not considered to be a, a major flaw in the product itself. You'll also look at the cheese to see that the color is good. This is a piece of colored cheese. Uh, it's a nice uniform color. It uh, is not uh, a bleached out type of color, which can happen if the acid levels in the cheese uh, were too high when the cheese was made. It, uh, in white cheese, it, uh, if the cheese was very white, it would uh, indicate a high acid type of curve. White cheese should actually be a creamy color that uh, is given that color by the pre precursor for vitamin A, which is in milk, called carotene. And uh, if that is not there, then the cheese was not made properly in the, in the first place, that, that cream is colored in white cheese. The next thing the uh, grater will do is he will break off a small portion of the plug and put it in his hand, returning what he is not going to use into the wheel itself. He will take it in his hand and uh, break it down, just sort of like you're playing with a ball of putty. 